Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. Today we're installing AdGuard DNS on CentOS, which is a distribution that we haven't touched on much on this channel. In fact, we haven't touched on it yet at all on this Technology Lowdown channel. But it's a distribution that's based off Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So that means that CentOS is going to be a pretty stable distribution. Um, so the package which we're installing today is going to be a snap package. So for those of you who don't like snap packages, you may not want to watch this video but snap packages I think are pretty great um, because they get the job done and they install without any problems usually so let's get started with today's install of AdGuard home on sense OS so for today's install I'm using a VM of sense OS I have already set it up but pretty much you just need to run through a minimal install of sense OS you don't need to install any other packages the only package I've installed onto here is open SSH so that I can connect via SSH to the system and manage it. It is only for testing, um, so that's why it was shut down before. So I'm going to log in with my username and password I've set up on here. Okay, so a good thing to do when you get started is you need to do a sudo yum and then y and then update. And you should also do a sudo yum y upgrade. And this will just make sure that all your packages are updated before we begin this process. So once we're logged in and we've run that update and upgrade command, we need to do a yum install epel release. And I haven't run that as sudo because I just want to make note that sudo exclamation exclamation mark really does save a lot of time. It repeats the last command that you entered. Okay, so epel release is now installed. Now we need to do sudo dnf info and then snap d. Now this is purely just so we can check that we're installing the correct um, package. So dnf is just another package manager which is on sense OS and info will pull up all that information on that package. Okay, so snap d is a uh, cross distribution transactional package manager. So that is definitely the one that we need. So let's get that one installed hyphen Y to answer yes to any questions if there are and then snap D. So this will install snap D now. This will take a number of minutes. Okay now we need to do uh, sudo and we're doing system control and then status snap D dot socket. This is just so I can show you what it's actually doing. So it's been installed but it's not actually loaded and it's currently in an inactive state so it's not of much use to us. So let's do sudo system uh, ctl again and we're going to enable it right now with a hyphen hyphen now and then snap d dot socket. And that will enable it if I uh, up arrow twice and then enter on that command we can see that it is now active. So that's good. Next, we are going to do um, sudo ln-s, and then we're just going to create a link between the snap directory and this top level snap folder. Okay, so that symbolic link is created. Quite simply now, we install AdGuard Home. But before we do that, we're just going to do sudo snap, and then we're going to do info as well, and then AdGuard and tab to complete and we'll come up. Okay, so we're just checking that we've got the right package. So it's AdGuard Home, it's network wide, software for blocking ads and tracking. So that does appear to be the correct one. So let's get started with that install. So sudo snap install AdGuard Home. Okay, so AdGuard is now installed, but before we go any further, we need to do a few changes to our IP and network settings. So sudo firewall, so we're going to change some firewall rules first, CMD and the default zone, which CentOS is set up with is public, which is fine for this video. And we're going to add the port uh, 3000, which is the setup port for AdGuard. We're making it permanent. Now up arrow again, and we're going to add in port 80 this time, TCP, and that'll be permanent as well. And up arrow again, we're changing 80 to 53, and then instead of TCP, it'll be UDP, and that'll be permanent as well. 
Now we just need to do sudo firewall cmd and reload and that will apply those new firewall rules that we have just set. Now there's another step we need to do here and that is setting a static IP. It is optional if you're just running AdGuard within this system for this computer only then you can have a dynamic address. But if you're uh, setting the sub for others within your network to use it, you'll want to set a static IP address. So in CentOS, there's two ways of doing this that I prefer. You can do it through nmtui with the sudo command in front. And this will enable you to edit using a GUI type interface. Um, and you would want to go down to IPv4 here set it to manual and then show and then you can enter in your network addresses when you are entering in your IP address here you'll want to set it with the CIDR notation so if it's a subnet of 255.255.255.0 it'll be 24 or if it's a 254 subnet you would go uh, to 3 so we're not setting it up that way we are going to do it the command line way because that is how we learn Okay, so the command line way is sudo nmcli and then con and then mod. I'm using tab to complete this and then en and that's our interface. If you had multiple network adapters, you would need to select what it would be. Uh, to get that, you would do IPA and my interface is enp0s3 as we can see there in the middle. Okay, so sudo nmcli and then con, and then mod, and then en. Tab to autocomplete, saves all the time in the world, and then addresses, and this is where we set the IP address that we would like our system to be, which will be 32 slash 23. And then we set the DNS. Now the DNS, you'll want to set it to 127.0.0.1, so your system will be using its own DNS. Next we need to do the gateway, which will be this for my network. And then we need to do ipv4.method. We need to set to manual. Oop, appears I have an error there. I've got a space. Okay, that one has applied. Now, if you're doing this via SSH, you'll definitely want to make sure you run this command in one line. Otherwise, you will find that it will not reconnect and you'll have to go to the box to type in the command to bring the connection up. What we're basically doing is turning off the network port, then re-enabling it. Now, you could disconnect and reconnect the cable at this point, but uh, I'm doing it this way because it requires me just typing in a command and I don't need to disconnect and reconnect the cable physically using VM uh, using VirtualBox and then up and then EN now this will change it so if you do IPA now we will see that we've got that new IP address set now there's one extra command that we need to run here which is system CTL and we want to stop systemd uh, resolve because it will be interfering with AdGuard otherwise during the setup process. Uh, sudo system system control and then disable system D resolved. Okay, so that is disabled. Now we can go to our web browser and set up AdGuard. So to open up your AdGuard installation, it'll be on port 3000. So make sure you put 3000, otherwise you will not see anything. So we're doing get started here. It's on all interfaces. Uh, you could just set it to listen only on one interface. If you only want it for your local computer, it's set it for that one. If you want it for the whole network, you would set it to the .32. Uh, DNS server, all interfaces is fine to listen. Uh, this is your admin interface, sorry. Uh, so all interfaces is fine there for me as well. And we can click next on this screen. You shouldn't really have to change anything there. Now we're setting a username and password. Okay, and next. 
and we're finished the setup. It's that simple. Now, before we log in, I'm just going to see if it's actually working. So let's go back to our VM. I'll make that full screen again. So we want to do an NS lookup. And then let's look up, say, google.com. And it's using our local host address, which is fine. And we see that we get two results back there. We get the IPv4 address and the IPv6. So that appears to be working. We could do another one here as well. We do .au and we get the IP address and the IPv6 uh, address. So it appears that that is working. Before we go to AdGuard uh, in the web browser, let's just also do a lookup from a remote machine. So we'll do NS lookup and we'll do Google dot dk and we'll type in the static IP address of our machine and we see that we get a reply back so that is good so if we log into the interface now we will see that we've got six DNS queries which have already run so if we go to the query log we can see that they're those lookups that I just did and we can see who's done that lookup. So we're almost there with the setup. We just need to uh, set the block list. So we go to the filters tab for that and then block list. And then you just want to select the checkbox here for add away and malware domain list. And that'll add a couple of more blocks on your local network. Now there's really not much else you need to do because AdGuard will keep itself updated. You can log into here and you can um, check your logs. You can uh, go to your DNS settings, configure that. I've got another video on my channel which shows you uh, all the features of AdGuard, so do check that one out. For the purpose of this video, we have finished installing AdGuard on CentOS. So before we finish, I just want to show you a couple of helpful commands for managing a snap package because if you haven't used snaps before, they can be a bit overwhelming. So you'll want sudo snap and then services. And then this will list all the snap packages that you have on your system. In this case, there's only one. Now, say if you had a problem where add guard locked up, not that I've ever experienced this one, you can do sudo snap and then you'll just do restart and then add guard and that will restart the service. You could also do, say, a stop here, and then we could do a start. So that is all an option that you've got there as well. Now, another way of doing this here is you could update the actual ad guard package, say, once a month or whenever there's a new release, and you can do that by doing sudo snap refresh, and then you'll want to type in ad guard, tab to auto complete, and that'll check for any updates directly related to AdGuard Home. If you want to update all of your snap packages, if you had more, it's just sudo snap and then refresh, and that'll update everything. Well, thanks for watching this video. If this video has been helpful to you, please like this and subscribe, and don't forget to tap the bell if you'd like to receive more notifications. I'll paste links to all the steps involved for the setup into the description below. If you have any questions, please comment, and don't forget to like if this video has helped you, as it really does help. Thanks for watching. Bye.